from Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering WTG Transform 2018. Brought to you by Winslow Technology Group. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the second year of the Cube at what is now WTG Transform 2018. And happy to welcome to the program Scott Winslow, who is the president and founder of Winslow Technology Group. Scott, always great to see you. Good afternoon, Stu. Happy to be with you. Hey, and Scott, thank you so much. You you not only brought us back a second year, we've got a nice table here, but I'm not tripping over myself saying that it's the you know 14th anniversary Winslow Technology Group Dell EMC user conference in lovely Boston, Massachusetts. In the background, it was like. Ah, it's a little easy. WTG Transform rolls off the tongue, so thank you. You were the inspiration for us, Stu. <laughs> you, uh, your comments last year uh, uh, precipitated the change well, in the name. I, I, I know your team just looked at it and felt sorry for me because uh, uh, it, it didn't roll off the tongue quite as easily as, uh, as the new one. It was a mouthful. Yeah, so Scott, you and I, it, it, we bump into each other a bunch. We, mm -hmm. we tend to go to many of the shows, the Dell show, uh, the Nutanix show. Mm -hmm. um, let, let's talk about your show first here. Uh, as, as I said, it is the 14th year, it's users. One of the reasons I love coming here, besides getting to talk to you and Rick and uh, some of your partners, is, is users. I will speak to more users in one day here uh, than I do with some of the big shows I go to. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great opportunity to thank our existing customer base. You know, we have a fourfold uh, purpose for this uh, event. We like to educate our customers. We hope that they can pick up some knowledge, uh, uh, maybe an aha moment that they have when they're looking at hyper-converged solutions or all-flash solutions. We've got a new Dell client display here this year that we've never had in the past. So we're looking to educate. We love to give them an opportunity to collaborate with other practitioners to compare notes. The feedback I get from them is they really enjoy that piece of it. We want to have some fun. And um, you know it's a tradition that we want to keep rolling, and uh, they're helping you know to make it very successful. So it's been a great uh, it's been a great venue for us and a great event for us for over 14 years now. And, and Scott, you couldn't have ordered a better day. I mean, yeah. New England, you know, it might change in an hour, but right now temperatures in the low 70s. It's mostly clear. You know, gorgeous backdrop here. Uh, as, as you mentioned in the in the open, you know, Sox have their ace pitching tonight, and they're are, are still in first place. Uh, so uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't hurt. We, you know, we're in the customer service business, right? So you have to think of everything. Yeah. Temperature, starting pitcher, and uh, you know, we try to you know, make sure we've got a good agenda and there's a lot of good information for them here. There, To get customers to come out and spend a day with you, you, you like this is why this event has grown to be so big, is because year after year after year, I feel like we've delivered and then we have kind of a continuous improvement process and we try to improve it every year. All so right. here we are. Scott, what, what, talk about your business a little. Mm -hmm. You know, first time we met, uh, you know, Winslow Technology was one of the, it was, it was the Dell partner of the year. So, you know, been a long time Dell partner. The Dell you know, the acquisition merger with EMC has been an interesting to watch. I know you've got some viewpoints, but before we get into kind of the Dell piece of it, talk about your business as, you know, I guess we call you a channel partner uh, on there. You know, what, what, what's driving your business? How's growth going? Mm -hmm. uh, how are things up here in New England and, and beyond? Because yeah. you're, you're much more than New England. Yeah, I mean, well, we've certainly evolved our business over the years with acquisitions being a big part of that. Initially, we started out as a compellent partner, and then compellent was acquired by Dell. And then, you know, five or six years later after that, we have the Dell EMC consolidation. So I think we've had to learn to be flexible. And, and one of the things we've seen with that is we just, each time there was an acquisition, it allowed us to increase the size of our portfolio with more solutions that we can offer our end users, more services that we can provide. Um, you know, and along the way, we've added a lot of uh, other solutions too, like the uh, Nutanix solution uh, in the hyper-converged space. So our business is going great. Um, we're you know, at the highest employee count uh, we've ever had. Our revenues were as high as they've ever been last year. We had a record Q3, record Q4. In uh, Q1, we grew our Dell business by over 30%. That makes Dell very happy and makes us very happy as well. So, um, you know, as, uh, the, as uh, this whole um, industry evolves um, and, you know, the digital economy progresses, um, there continue to be the need for the services that we uh, provide. All right. So. So Let's, let's talk about Dell. As you yeah. said, you've come from the compellent piece, uh, the, the Dell XC, which is the Nutanix OEM, mm -hmm. is uh, something that I know you, your, your team uh, is you know, very involved with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how is Dell and Dell EMC, how, how are they doing for the channel these days? Um, I think they're doing very well. I think they, uh, you know, Dell likes to say they have big ears and they listen well. I think that uh, they have proven that. 
Uh, they've put together a very good uh, channel uh, partner program uh, under the leadership of John Byrne initially and now Joyce Mullen. Um, you know, I think that uh, they incent you uh, to work with them. Uh, they try to incent the uh, salespeople, incent the companies, but they also put together very good um, programs for you to run marketing events like this. So an event like this, we couldn't do it without the support of uh, Dell Technologies. And they've been, you know, very supportive of us. You know, they're providing speakers like Dave Singer. You've got all kinds of subject matter experts here. We've got lots of uh, hardware and software fo uh, folks to, uh, you know, demo. So I think, uh, I think overall the partner program has been very good. Great, and Nutanix, as I said, mm -hmm. you, you get it through the Dell, so I'm, I'm curious, has, has the move as Nutanix is shifting more to really that software model, does that have any impact on, uh, on your business or are you isolated from that since you've uh, been using the Dell XCs? Yeah, um, well, I mean, first of all, we've been involved in Nutanix for you know three plus years now, right? Before Dell acquired EMC, right. our hyper-converged solution was Nutanix. We built together you know, uh, a very nice base of customers, many of whom you know, are here today. Uh, so um, as they evolve to a, a software model, uh, I do think they're going to be less concerned about what hardware platform it goes on because they're truly uh, creating all their revenues um, you know, from the software side. So they're very, uh, they're, they don't care really what, you know, what hardware platform is being used. Um, so you know, we feel like we've got the best two solutions in the uh, hyper-converged uh, marketplace between the uh, portfolio of Dell solutions, uh, you know, vSAN, uh, VxRail, vBlock, VCE, and then uh, Nutanix um, uh, with, with the uh, Nutanix solution. Uh, typically with Nutanix, we uh, tend to put that on a Dell uh, server platform. That's where we lean. We think Dell's got the best uh, server technology in the industry. That's a nice way for us to bridge that gap between the two companies. So um, a lot of times uh, our customers are putting a Nutanix solution on a, uh, a Dell uh, platform. Yeah, so. uh, the key themes I heard in your talk, Rick's talk, David Singer's talk uh, yeah. this morning, uh, and what I hear from customers, digital transformation and hybrid cloud. Mm -hmm. Are those top of mind with your customers today? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I think you know Rick alluded to it in his talk. A lot of customers are coming to us saying, "Hey, help us with our uh, cloud strategy." And so we're, we're going in and saying, "Tell us about your applications." Um, you know, these are applications that we think belong in the public cloud that make sense in the public cloud. Uh, and you know, that could be uh, disaster recovery, it could be backup, it could be Office 365. And these are other applications that we think might be more well suited for an on-premise uh, solution. Uh, so that could be uh, active file transfer. Uh, and so, you know, we think that leads naturally uh, to a uh, hybrid cloud discussion. We've got a, a customer here today, a financial customer from New Hampshire, and their CIO called me. I'd known him previously at a famous uh, sneaker company in town. He went to a financial institution and he said, hey, we want to we wanna move everything to the cloud. Can you come up and consult with us on that? And we ended up putting in a, uh, a hybrid cloud forum, you know, featuring a hyper-converged solution that had the cloud integration that he needed. So I think that's the kind of activity we're involved in today. Yeah, you use the word conversation. That mm -hmm. in the customers I've talked to, they like, they, they need advice and they want someone that's not just, oh, well, here's the solution that you're going to buy. It's no, 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 it's a conversation. There's lots of decision points and as you build out that hybrid cloud, yes, it's going to be made up by definition, multiple pieces. It's not necessarily going to be one company that's going to do it all, but you know, your team helps them along that journey. Absolutely, I mean, you can't go in with a cookie cutter approach. It's the, you know, you've got two ears and one mouth. We tell our salespeople, you got to use them in that portion. So you really got to kind of listen to the customer. As I said, try to understand what their applications are. You know, you got to understand what their biases are. If it's a Microsoft shop, you know, Azure might be their choice for you know public cloud, or they might be interested in AWS. So you got to kind of work through those um, you know scenarios and, and then build out a solution that's going to work for them. We and we rely on our solutions architects. Uh, Brian Vinu runs our SA team, and he's got a group of uh, five SAs that we think are very adept at you know putting those solutions together. Yeah, Brian's actually uh, not not far from my set here. You've got the new hands. -on on lab is one of the new things yeah. that, that, that you added here. Yeah. Um, anything from that or from other things at the event that you'd want, want to highlight as we wrap? 
Yeah, I think, I mean, the hands-on lab gives, uh, you know, customers the opportunity to come in and play with kind of structured and scripted uh, demos. And I see a number of customers in there using that. So I'll talk to our team after the event and find out how it went. We always try to look for, uh, you know, improvements along the way. But, you know, it, there's opportunity in there to uh, play with those uh, demos in terms of storage, in terms of hyper-converged, uh, in terms of uh, Dell Open Manage Essentials, which is the software that manages uh, your entire server farm. So I think that's been a good addition. I'd say the other addition is this year as we were planning it, we said, hey, our people are really good. We need to get our people up in front instead of relying so much on the OEM. And they're great and they provide great resources. But I know that our people have so much to offer as well, particularly because you know, we're out there um, you know, uh, um, you know, putting solutions together for customers. And I think that breadth and depth you know, comes through. So uh, that's been a nice addition this year where it's not just been Rick Allen and myself, but we've utilized a number of members on our team. Ed Palmer is the a moderator for a, a customer experience as an outcome session this afternoon that we're really excited about because at the end of the day as a solution provider, that's our job is to produce results and outcomes for our customers. That's how we're going to be judged. That's how we want to be judged. So I'm really excited about that session because we've got uh, Improvada and Boston Architect College, they're going to present up their respective deployments, and they were different of hyperconverged technology. So I think the voice of the customer, we're, we really want to make sure we're continuing to bring that back to this event. So, all right. um, well, Scott, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much for okay. bringing the cube back uh, to this event, and thank you for all the customers we get access to. We always love to talk to the customers. By the way, if you're looking to have a customer on the cube, that's we're always looking for customers. So we look at the events where we do have a Boston area studio and a lovely Palo Alto studio. So reach out to the team. Be happy to talk. I'm Stu Miniman. Thanks so much for watching the Cube.